Hey y'all, welcome to So Crafty with Connie. Today I wanted to show y'all how to make these iPad holders. They are really cute and easy and they make wonderful gifts. You can put your iPhone on them, you can put your iPad on them. You can also um, put a book on them for um, recipes and that kind of thing. Um, this is actually an old Kindle that I got at, um, off of eBay, I believe. It's broken. It was only like 99 cents, so it wasn't a big deal. Um, so yeah, this is what I use for adver my advertising, and I sell these at craft shows, and they just sell like hotcakes, so just so you know. Um, anyway, I wanted to go ahead and show y'all how to make, make some. The... Supplies that you need, you just need a 9 by 12 piece of fabric, and I already have mine cut here. And then you need some polyfill, you need some rice, and some needle and thread because you have to hand sew it together when you get through with it. Oh, uh, you also need some cardboard, and let me actually, let me go get that right now. Uh, let's see. Okay, you just need some cardboard about like this, okay? That's really all you need, just this size, and you'll see why here in a little bit. This is five by five is what this piece measures. It's just a little five by five piece. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So I have my fabric here and it's cut nine by 12. And so what you wanna do first is you want to sew it, I'm sorry, you want to fold it lengthwise, okay? And put your raw edges together. And then I use a fourth of an inch seam allowance and so I'm just going to sew this side first that is opposite of the folding side. So I'm just gonna sew that part first. Okay, and then the next thing you want to do is you want to sew one end, it doesn't matter which end, you want to sew one end and then you want to leave about an inch or two for an opening. Okay, so, and then when you start to do that, you also want to make sure you start and then back stitch um, at the opening to just secure it so when you try to flip it right side out, it doesn't like come apart. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm just gonna sew a little bit, stop, skip about a couple of inches, back stitch, and then start again. And so that closed up this end. And then I also have an opening right here. And then I'm just gonna clip, where are my clippers? I don't know where my clippers are. I'm just gonna cut that piece right there and that'll be my opening for turning okay next so it's like this and what I've done is I've sewn this side and I've sewn that side so now I'm going to just take it and I'm going to take the other end that is not sewn and I'm gonna do make it like this you want the seam on the side to be in the center so that's how it's gonna be now. It's just like on the center right there. The seam is on the center. Okay, and so now I'm gonna sew that up and I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with the other end where I left about a two inch opening, okay? And so now you can take it and you can measure it and you can eyeball it. I'm pretty good at eyeballing, so I'm just going to eyeball it to make sure this first seam that I sewed is in the middle, and it looks like it is, so I'm just going to take it to my sewing machine and go ahead and start sewing. I'm going to start, back stitch, go a little back stitch, and then I'm going to stop and then move it down about a couple of inches, start back stitch, start back stitch, and I have left this opening here for stuffing right here. So that's the other end that you're going to stuff. I'm just gonna cut this thread here. Okay, so now you've got it sewn together. 
okay? And now all you have to do is, let's just turn it right side out. Okay, so we're just gonna take it and then turn it right side out. For those of you who have just joined, I am making a iPhone holder like this. And it is stepped on one side and it is weighted with rice. So you can put a Kindle cover on it, you can put a book on it, you can put um, your phone on it, iPads, all sorts of good stuff. And they work really well at craft shows. I sell these, I sell a ton of them at craft shows and actually I have a craft show in a couple of weeks and so that's what I'm making these for. And right now, I've got all of these done, or started, and then I need to flip them right side out. And then I've already got these sewn up, and they just need to be stepped in. So I'll do that, I'll do that later. Um, okay, so what I did was I turned it right side out, and I used a, uh, this is, this was, this comes in a polyfill stuff, and um, I use this and to poke out the corners, okay? Just make sure your corners are poked out really well. Okay, all right, so now I have my design here, okay? And what I like to do is I wanna make sure that the seam part right here is laying flat on the, on the um, back because it's going to sit like this. So you wanna make sure that the seam part is on the back, and so I will do that. Now, for this one, I'm actually gonna have the seam on the sides, okay? So the seam is gonna be on the side just so my directional fabric will be going the right way. Now, um, so there, it, it doesn't matter. It's just your preference. So, but I would like for these this one to be going the right way. So I'm just going to have it sewn down like this. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to create this little piece right here that has the little cardboard in it and I'm gonna create that part now, okay? So that is three inches. So what you do is you take the edge and you measure up three inches. And I have that, I have a ruler on my sewing machine right here. And so I'm gonna use that to gauge it. So I am about three inches. So I'm gonna start on one end, I'm gonna back stitch it and then go to the other end and back stitch it again to reinforce it, okay? So I'm going back stitch in, going back stitch in to reinforce it. Now you need your little piece of cardboard, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and clip my threads though because I can't stand to have loose threads. So I'm going to go ahead and clip my threads here. Okay. Okay, so now I have my little piece of cardboard and um, I can't remember where I got this from, but um, I think my mom had a bunch of those fabrics around those uh, fat quarter pieces of cardboard, kind of like this. Um, so this actually came in a soda can where little packaging. And so I just got the bottom piece of it. And, and th this is like a perfect size. Now you may have to trim it down some, but you know, that's not a big deal. Okay, so I'm gonna take my little piece of cardboard here and I'm just going to put it in the part what that I left open and I'm going to make sure it's all the way in towards the seam that I just sewn okay and that is what creates the base for it to set on which is right here Okay, so now what I wanna do is I wanna take my finger and I wanna feel where the bottom of that cardboard is. I can feel it. And you wanna 
make a stitch right there. And so you want to stitch it down right there. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to start at one end, back stitch to reinforce, and then I'm going to go to the other end, back stitch and reinforce. Okay. And then, so I did that, and now I'm going to trim my threads again. Okay. All right, so I have my base put in. So that is what's going to where my whatever it is is going to sit on my phone or my iPad or whatever the case may be that you have. And these work really good for kids. Like my kids, they would um, put them on their, they would lay down and put these on their, lay them on their belly and then put their phone on there while they're playing games or what have you. So, okay, now we are going to stuff these and I like to put the rice in first to make sure that it goes to the bottom and it will be like right here. Okay, so I'm going to do that real fast. I have me some rice down here and the rice, the rice that I have is just a big old bag from Walmart cheapest kind, doesn't have to be certain kind, and I'm going to go ahead and fill it with rice. I just kind of guesstimate. I don't really have a measured amount that I put in here. I just kind of guesstimate. You don't want too much, and you don't want too little. So, I'm just going to go ahead and add some in here. I got me a, I got a funnel here. The funnel helps put the rice in when you have that little bitty opening there. So I'm going to make sure the rice gets down in there. I'm going to add me a little more. And then when I get through adding however amount I think, I'll just kind of set it down and see how it looks. Okay, so I'll put that in there. And now I'm going to just kind of lay it down. Okay, I think that's pretty good. If you get enough to cover the bottom of it, the bottom of the triangle, I think that should be good. And... Yeah, you just kind of want it to be weighted just a little bit. So, I think I'm going to add just a little bit more. So, if I was measuring that, so this is like one of those plastic cups, I'd say it was probably uh, about half of one of these cups. Maybe less than half. And so, I'm just going to put a little bit more in there. Okay, let's see. Let me see how I like that. Okay, yep, that's good. I like that amount. That may have been a little bit too much, but you know, it's all right. Okay, so that's my rice. I'm gonna set my rice aside. Now I'm gonna stuff it, and I just have some polyfill stuffing here. And you can use whatever you want to stuff it. You can use fabric uh, scraps, what I have used. I've used fabric scraps and those are also really good too because they're also heavy. Once you put so many in here, they're they're good. Um, also, because like I said, they're a little heavy. Now sometimes they can use, be have little pokes up. You can see where the edge of the scraps are. Uh, polyfill doesn't really do that, but yeah, if, if you want to look, use up your fabric scraps, this is a good way for that. All right, now I'm taking my stuffing. Move this out of the way. Now I'm taking my stuffing and I am stuffing the same area where I put the rice. So I'm putting the stuffing on top of the rice. I made sure that when I got through putting the rice in, that I made, I made sure that it was on the bottom. It was all flat down on the bottom. And so now... I'm putting, adding some stuffing in here. And I want to put it in the corners and just make sure it's all poofed up because this is what the back of your iPhone, your iPad, your Kindle is going to be laying on. Okay. I mean, these are just so cute. How cute are these? And they are, they're easy to do. They're just really time consuming, but they're easy. They're fun. 
They're also good scrap busters. Um, nine by 12 piece of fabric square is what they, what it was. Okay, so I think I'm going to be through with stuffing it right now. I think it looks pretty good. There's, it looks like there's one part higher than the other. Okay, yeah. Okay, so now, okay, so I've got that stuffed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hand sew it closed. Okay. And I just have a little piece. I have a thread, needle and thread here. And I'm just going to hand sew it closed really quickly. And this is just a plain white thread. Well, okay. And I'm just sewing it closed. I'm not making any kind of fancy stitch. I'm just sewing it closed really easily because this part is going to be in the back and you're not going to see it anyway. So we're just going to sew this closed really fast. You could do any kind of stitch on here that you wanted. But this is just the fastest and easy way, just sewing it closed. Now, okay, so I got to the top. Now I'm going to do put a couple of knots in it. I usually do it about three times. Pull it up. I'm going to clip my threads. Now, I'm going to save this thread that I have left because I'm going to have to sew, hand sew the front closed. I should have enough. I hope so. So... I'm going to keep this thread that I have and I'm going to go ahead and get it ready to sew for my next one. And so where's the end? I'm going to show you, if you don't already know this, I'm going to show you an easy way how to knot your hand sewing thread. Okay, make sure your ends match up at the bottom and then I'm just going to take it, take the end and put it against the needle holding it with my finger, putting it against the needle. I'm going to wrap it around the needle about, I don't know, uh, eight times or so. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to pull it down the needle and then pull it to the bottom of the thread and you have a knot. So that is one easy way to tie a knot at the end of your hand needle thread. Now we're going to stuff this part, and this is actually the last step. So, this is the part where your Kindle or iPhone or whatever is going to hold it up. So, it's this part right here. So, I'm just going to stuff that. And this one, you kind of want to make sure it's stuffed pretty good. There's kind of, you know, somewhat a lot because... You want to make sure it's kind of, you know, poked out enough to where it will keep your iPhone or your iPad or whatever it is you're using in place and it doesn't slide. So, this I would make sure it's stuffed pretty good. And again, this part doesn't need any rice because... It's not really the weighted part. And I'm just taking my finger and I'm just pulling, putting the uh, stuffing in there. There's no, there's no right or wrong way to do this. So, no one's scared of it. Okay, so I think that's good. So I got my stuffing in there now. And so now I'm going to hand sew this closed. And I think, I hope I have enough, I hope I have enough uh, thread on the needle. I think I should. Okay, so now I'm just going to sew this closed. And I'm just, again, I'm just going to use a simple stitch. It's going to be towards the bottom, so no one's going to really see it. And like I said, I have sold so many of these at craft shows. And so, uh, yeah, if that's something that you want to, do it'll be I can assure you it'll be a good hit and also these make great gifts for 
your friends, your family, co-workers. And they are actually very handy. And what I like to do is I have one in my kitchen. And so when I'm cooking using a recipe, whether it's on my phone or in a book, I like to put it on this thing to hold it up. Okay. So now I'm done with that. And then I'm going to tie it in a knot. Finish that off. And that's it. I hope I didn't cut my needle. I mean, I hope I didn't cut my knot. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. And so that's it. There it is. And now you have a cute, handy, dandy little stand for your iPad or your iPhone, whatever the case may be. And that's it. Um, so yeah, so if you have any questions, just let me know and thanks so much for watching and y'all have a good rest of your day.